Good morning everybody and hello to my little humble abode again. Today what I'd like to do is to go and well I had a complete failure with the multi farm and the industrial hemp so I've set up a Minecraft reloaded harvester farm which we should go and have a quick look at now. And I've also been playing with water wheels. So here's the farm. As you can see, it's actually it's almost about maximum size for the harvest. It's not quite. This is them um, using the quartz upgrade in the in the devices. So let's start one piece by piece. There's a creeper. Let's just sort him out before we have any trouble from him. Yep. I don't think there's anybody else around to disturb us. So let's uh, pick up his XP. Right. And a Minecraft reloaded um, farm basically requires three components. This piece here is the fertilizer. And in the fertilizer we put industrial fertilizer. In the middle here we have the planter. And at the moment the planter is configured to have uh, one corner cotton seeds, which is a green corner. And then the rest is this industrial hemp seed. So the green corner, which you can barely see, is this corner over here. And there's nothing there at the moment. The other parts of the uh, of the farm is the harvester, which is very important for picking up the bits. And beside the harvester, I've got a sludge boiler because the harvester will produce sludge. What comes out of the sludge boiler and the harvester come down these item ducts and there's no survey required for that into this chest here and in this chest here we have a lot oh, really, really very very full at the moment of of industrial hemp so let's just take a lot of that out of there and we have these industrial hemp seeds being produced and these are the stuff that's coming out of the uh, sludge boiler so let's have a quick look let's just take my iron mattock here and go down and see what we've been doing here I have a here I have a servo, and the servo is turned off. But I've, I've whitelisted hemp seeds and cotton seeds, but at the moment it's turned off. So if I turn this on, we should see coming out of here hemp seeds and cotton seeds. So before I do anything else, let's just fill in my hole here. So that's just uh, We don't want any monsters spawning in here, do we really? And as you can see now, oops, there is the sludge boiler just kicked into action. Give me a bit of hunger. But we should be able to see, yes, we can start to see it's planting away now. And the, um, I shall remove the, the landmark. The landmark was basically to find out where the planter was when I was uh, digging some holes. And because I went to a quarry, it keeps it gets screwed up sometimes. The, uh, the landmark. So we forget that they're supposed to disappear when you take the torch away. So actually, we should doesn't look like it's doing very much, but it will be. So if we look in here now, we should see some plenty of seeds. No seeds. Ah, oh, there we are. You see, they come in and then they go straight out again. So they've been continuously planted. And then the harvest, as you can see, is taking the stuff out of it. So. And the power for this is coming from the windmill here as well. I just took a... a Connect down the cable a wire down to this uh, lunchstone energy cell, and so it just gets continual power in here. It doesn't take very much power, and as you can see, this energy is already f just about full. So the farm itself, well, is still running, and at the moment I've basically sort of given up with it. I've put some rubber trees at the back here to let, let's see if the rubber will grow. 
and there's also some jungle trees by the looks of it. These are, I think, these are industrial craft. No, these are my factory related rubber trees. I was hoping to get industrial craft. I think those are the ones which are uh, required for um, rubber, actually the rubber farm. Never mind. So, what I'm doing here is I'm planning to do a tunnel and put in there some sewers. So the idea was here, I come down here, was to tunnel down one more level, level I think. So let's just have a quick look at I've got here. Yes. And if I tunnel down here, I need probably what I should probably do is to move some of this industrial hemp into the ender pouch. Get it out, out of the way, and that'll then be sent off down to the base. What I should also do is to put the um, the spade I want. Oh, there it is. And here, so we'll just make a tunnel down through here. Right, I'm one level too high, as I can see. So I better go down one more level. Otherwise, I would put to. should find is I put yes there we go that was one more mark and also intention is to go and find where the sheep are as well if I can get it with this and some others from the cows and sheep That's probably far enough. Let's just find out to be certain. So let's take this landmine here, uh, landmark here. Put it up the bottom here. And let's just put a redstone torch beside it. Which I should also have. I can't see. So what I can do here is put it in a sewer. And the idea of the sewer, if you do a sewer and a composter, I think I can. Yes. And when you right click on the sewer, it doesn't need any power, but it should simply, from the cows, pull in sewage. And the sewage, what we'll do is we'll take it across to. Uh, Composter, and I won't do that just now. Well, probably what I should do is put some torches down here to stop monsters spawning. So let's just do that first of all. Uh -huh. And fill in the holes, of course, that's another good step to do. Right. We've got this redstone torch at the end, which is fine, but not very bright. So let's go and get the torches, which I always have in my knapsack. Let's put a few torches down here. I'm not very fussy as to where I put them, just on the other flight to prevent mob spawning. And as you see, I'm one block below where I want it to be for the for the sheep spawn. Well, that's no big deal. We just do this one straight away. But that's why the other one block was green. So. Okay. So let's probably quickly put the sewer in here as well. It looks like these have upgrades as well, so that's interesting. I hadn't realised they had upgrades. It's the first time I've played with sewers as well. Three so. When you make one so you actually get four. What I'm going to have to do is to connect these all up with item ducts. In order to do that, what I'm going to have to do is to drill down another level, but that's for another time, I think. Let's go back to the workshop.
because I think it's actually coming towards night time. Let's put those there. And before I do anything else, let's put everything back into my knapsack. I didn't do all of them. That'll do nicely. So my knapsack and let's have a look. We've got three of the lampstone which I don't really want. Let's go put the let's go put these into the uh, the pouch again. Let them sort themselves out as to where they go. Dirt I don't need, stone I don't really need too much of it, but we'll keep one. Uh, seeds I do want to do. And for now I think. Let's see if we can Ah, oh, there's, there's a server there. I don't want that with me at the moment because it's a Minecraft. That was for one of these machines. Let's just put that in here. Here we can sleep until the morning and then we're going to have a look at what's happening to the farm again and what we're going to do today is to build a another windmill uh, a water wheel in fact I've already started one here oh look there's an enderman jumping around right what I wanted to do was to come to this chest wasn't it take away more of this hemp and the wool and probably the sand and the dirt we don't need any of that in here and what I did want to put into here of course were these two seeds so now as we can see it it's become very full plenty of uh, stuff everywhere so we're looking at and this, oh, we have plenty of seeds in here now as well so this will simply fill up with seeds and we will get out of the chest there just the hemp seeds and cotton we won't get any more uh, cotton seeds because um, when it's harvesting cotton, it only harvests the cotton and not the, not the plant. And there we go, another hemp seed. So, right now, what I started over here was a was a, a water wheel. The idea of the water wheel is to power the um, power the farm, and it's probably generating enough enough power as it is. So all I've done here is to set up some stone and the water source block at the top which is then coming down here and rotating around the the, the water wheel and then that's turning the water wheel and that's not generating electricity at the moment because we do not have the dynamo I need to put the dynamo in and that should go in the middle here so let's go and see what we have to do to build some water wheels and then down one more level. There we go. Jumpy today, sorry about that. And you see, I've got a ton of industrial cotton now, so I can make another advanced water wheel. In fact, I probably should don't need as much as in the farm at all, so maybe I should turn it off. <laughs> anyway, enough said. Let's give this a quick sort. So. What we need for the water wheel, let's go and find, actually let's go and find out because it was here. We need water wheel. So we need one treated wood and one, four water wheel segments. And in fact you can have three of these. So what we'll make is eight segments. So that's the recipe. Treated sticks and treated wooden blanks, which is very straightforward. So we have plenty of planks and Probably not enough sticks. We need uh, it was four times 16, 32, I think. So let's just have a look. We've got 28, so we need that's probably another 12, uh, maybe that's 33. That will be fine. So, segments, let's see if we can. This works, yes, it does. And we get eight, which is exactly what we want. Okay. Now, in the middle it was one, and then are, oh, actually we do want two segments, don't we? So let's put that back over here. One, two. And then we have two wheels. What we also need is the kinetic dynamo, which is this device here. And that's very straightforward to make. To make, you start off with one of these copper coils, which is just to simply one stick surrounded by four co copper ingots and that makes four of those and 
and we need uh, eight so we actually need just simply double that and then one iron ingot in the middle and then that produces this copper so we basically got all of that stuff over here anyway so and one iron ingot, a steel ingot, we don't want one of those and then you get this copper core one and all you then have to do to make this uh, dynamo here is it's a recipe like this so we'll put that at the top three and I three iron ingots down the bottom I'm just holding the shift right key when I do that and right clicking on those to give that and then we have the dynamo I have to it doesn't matter you can set it up how you want to so what we also need a stone I've got plenty of that on there I think let's just check 64 stone, plenty of stone. Right, out we go. Still daytime. What I did was to simply put a stone in there and then go up and make sure it was wider. So I wasn't sure how big this was. This is looking like about three, three blocks by three blocks, so it's like nine blocks. Square. So what we can then do is attach the water wheels here. If I'm close enough, it's probably not. And as you see, all three are turning now. What we need to do, of course, is put the dynamo in. Let's do that first of all. This is a good one to do exactly where that goes. So we have to take it out first of all. It's, I think it's his block. Yes. So put the dynamos in here. One of them anyway. Too far away, try it. Hmm. Right, that looks like it's working. A bit too close, sorry. And let's put a connector on there. But first of all, what we'll do is fill in the rest of the the frame. I think this red light means it's on, but it's, I'm not that familiar with uh, immersive engineering yet. So let's put the stone in here. So I know there was only one block, but take the frame down. I think it's possibly here. Good guess. And then we can build the sides up. We're better starting from the top here. same here of course. Just float down, getting it. And there we are. Right. So a quick inspect. What I did over this side was to cut on the sides but that What we do need to do, of course, is put some more source blocks. We'll do this in a second. But I will actually build up, finish this side here. It looks a bit uh, unattractive. I 
think I do. I think I need them too, yes I do. And the other one should go in the middle of here. There it is, streaming the water over there very nicely. In fact, there's no reason to have this block actually, I'll take these off. And as you have, as you can see, we have now one working. Looks slightly strange, I'm not sure. Ah, because of the walls, that's sort of... Let's just go and fix that. We'll build it from the bottom this time. Interesting. It still has this uh, sort of cut out here. I don't think the chest should be quite like that, but it doesn't matter. Probably the way I created it. So, all we need that to do is to take this energy cell from here. Ah, maybe it would be more sensible to put the dynamo on the other side. Let's do that. First, we have to judge where the middle the bit we want to place in here. That one, yes. Five, uh, probably yes. Number five should be should three. Should be, yeah, that's perfect. It's getting dark. So let's see. Did I bring with me? No, I didn't. Well done. In fact, I'll remove this one while I'm here. Oops. I'm just filling the holes. And then in the meantime, we'll just quickly go home to the workshop, have a quick sleep and get, uh, what do we need? We need some connectors and some wires to connect up to that uh, energy cell. We have plenty in this chest. We, are, we need two of these and we need a few wires. I'm not sure how many we need. I'll take half of these. We need, I should probably just need the one. Of course now it's morning so we can simply go outside. Quick check to make sure there's no mobs around. There's a few. Just behind me, we won't worry about those too much. Have another little quick look around, make sure there's nobody producing me. There's a spider and a creeper now. Zombie ball that's so behind me. So, so one connector goes on here. The other connector will go on this energy cell here. That tip, like that. Now, all we need now is a wire. And I think this wire is going to be long enough. One right click there. And then one right click there. Too far away. I don't believe it is too far away. Try that again. Uh, right, linked from there. Let's see, it was me that was in the way. Yes. So now, if we look at this energy cell here, we should see it increasing. Oh, it doesn't look like it's doing very much at the moment. Oh yes, there we are. And three. Oh, maybe that's going down. I wonder if there has to be a certain way round. Hmm. Never mind. I shall sort that out and tell you, report back how I fixed it in another video. The last thing here. This was a. Um, a rancher, what a rancher does here is it actually harvests both milk and in here we get wool from the sheep. The milk's coming from the cows and the, obviously the wool's coming from the sheep, you can see them. And I think that's all I would like to say for today. So, goodbye and thank you for watching. Until next time.